All right, everyone, it's time for Cool Dude Leon to take over. We've had our fun. It's Leon's time. I wonder if, to, if I have to re, re enable the rainbow cursor. That's important. That's real important. There it is. Okay. That was close. Hello, Black Knight. How you doing? That's right, a tall drink of Leon Aid. Okay. You should download the Leon Tramp Stamp Thong mod. I should. <laughs> Spinal. Yeah, those are the only two mods I have installed. It is the HD Project, which is sort of a graphical revamp. Um, for some reason, <laughs> my attention always goes to the guns. They're always so high polygon. Uh, and a lot of the textures are pretty crisped up. Oh yeah, this part. So I had, I kind of, oh... I also don't have the stock. Okay, so my save must have rolled back. So, I played a little bit last... yesterday. No, day before yesterday. I played for like 12 minutes. Ooh, I got blown welcome. up a couple times. I did some merchant stuff. Uh, I think I just alt have it out of that. Things on sale. What are you buying? Yeah, Is okay. <laughs> Thank you. Got some work to do here. What are you selling? Because I sold the shotgun and the ah. rifle. <laughs> that, ah. <laughs> Thank you. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Is that all? <laughs> Is that all? <laughs> Is that all, stranger? I never got. Oh, wait. I never got the third gem here, I guess. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Come back any time. In the room for three? Yeah. Ooh. What are you selling? Ah. <laughs> Thank you. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. What are you buying? What are you buying? See, so I need the stock for the red nine. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. By the right Is hand. The right gun and the semi-auto <laughs> rifle. Is that all? Is that? That's right. Ugh. The sheer reorganization of it all. Ugh. Is there a one one case even bigger than this one? I can't remember. Oh. <laughs> Where's the you. 50 eggs? Ashley had to eat most of them because she was panicking. Is that all str <laughs> Thank you. What are you buying? Is that all str <laughs> Thank you. Not enough cash, stranger. Okay. Feel pretty good about that. Okay. Should probably save, probably. But I agree, I need to work on my egg collection. I could definitely ha stand to be carrying more eggs in my 
my briefcase that I agree with. Leon's turning radius isn't the hottest. Because, yeah, okay, so this part has these cannons that shoot at you, and they can one-shot Ashley. And if they do, that's it. You're back to the last save point. Explosive barrel next to me. That I thought I could shoot from here. For some reason I can't see. Huh. President's daughter. Little did they know, Leon is a kung fu master. There's one more up there. Yeah. What do I do about that? Not that yeah, yeah. Let's see a barrel. Okay, maybe that'll work. Oh, yeah, these dudes have metal helmets. I took out all the catapults finally. Who's still who's still murmuring? <laughs> oh, there's a guy. Oh, I thought that was gonna be the suplex. Thank you for the sub. Hey! Ah! It was just right there. Look at that. Treasure, treasure map already paying dividends. How many times do I, throughout history do you think somebody actually got a positive return on investment on a treasure map? Can't be often, right? That doesn't seem like something that happened a whole bunch of the time. D? Alright. Pirates, probably? I don't know. 
Who's to say? Just a little, just a little Lawrence stream musable for you. Something to think about. Little, little coffee shop convo. Yeah, the spamming icon is so ridiculous. Oh, hey, buddy. Welcome. Got some rare things on. What are you buying? What are you selling? Is that all? <laughs> what are you buying? Let's see here. What else? Oh yeah, I guess I guess I got the semi-auto rifle. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Come back any time. <laughs> Leon, where's your current location? We got it. So cool. Decided to lay low in a castle, but it Man, looks Leon's like cool. it was a bad move. Meaning? Well, it appears that this castle's also connected with the Los Illuminados. They must not get many visitors here, because they're giving me one hell of a welcome. Sounds Yay! Good. I have an idea, Leon. I need you to... What? Repeat, Hunnigan. Great. Just my luck. Give me Salazar. Give me Salazar. Going for it already. Oh boy. Dudes, a lot of mans here. They're hitting me with it right away. guy. We kick the shit out of this dude. Huh. remember how like thick some of these enemies were give me the old dead space stomp I wish I could can you do that it's an old book here so weathered it's illegible 
It's been sprayed down by zombie guts. <laughs> you see my vision? Uh, draconic. I'm glad that I'm glad that it it shines through. Pitas. You're right, suddenly blessed. I don't know if that's copy pasta or not, but you're correct either way. There was never gonna be another like me, the best to ever do it, to play video games. The A number one, top of the heap. Lauren Sontag, professional video game player, world video game champion, or whatever. Whatever Skip Rogers claims his own title is. I'm coming for your title, Skip. You can't keep it from me. Skip Rogers. What a joke. Meet me in the ring, Skip. I'll break your back. I'll humiliate you. I'll show you what a real man is. Leon. Lewis. I've got something for you guys. Uh, what am I drinking? Guinness what? right now. Oh shit! I must I have, have dropped a... it when I was running away from them. Dropped what? A drug that'll stop your convulsions. I have some Look, Jameson. I know you're a carrier. But I might crack into it You've some been point. Coughing up blood, right? Yeah. And you. Yeah. That's just the anorexia, Leon. Damn it! The eggs have hatched. We don't have much time. What are you talking about? I have to go back and get it. Let me come with you. No. You stay here with Leon. He is better with the ladies. I'm sure. Why are you- It makes me feel better. Let's just leave it at that. When he's right, he's right. going buddy hey I can't stop. <laughs> oh, no I don't know where it's gonna put me actually does it go back to the last save? No, okay, there's a checkpoint here. Uh, let's go the other way. Let's go this way. Yeah, let her die. Whoops. Whoops. Oops. Oh, this is where I came from. I'm sure I can just tell the president, oops. Mr. President. Oops. My bad, okay? That's my bad. I messed up. Oops. That's a whoopsie from me. Oh, they all come out of this door. That's dumb. <laughs> I guess they hear the gunshot. Anything. Oh, I chopped my head off. Nice. Man, I gotta relearn the nuance of aiming with the like pointer. This game is actually pretty, uh. I don't know. You can still get swarmed, which is nice. You can still get your head chomped off every so often. Uh. Mata. 
Hopefully they come out of this door. Can I do that? Alright. That was so cool when they start putting up their hands. Dang it. I'm used to that putting them in kick kick stun. What? Jeez. What is that sound? High ground will do. Hey, what's up, Brandon? I'm getting uh, getting worked by Resident Evil 4 right now. When does the game start reviewing games for site traffic, or is it not worth uh, the editing and recording time? With Resident Evil 4, Zelda, and Diablo, I don't think you or Bruce particularly care for the review format. But people love when their nostalgia is reinforced as being great. That's true, they certainly do. Uh, yeah, it's largely just that the amount of time and effort put into a review is rarely justified by the, uh, the views that you get or the revenue you get on YouTube. So then it's like, a, hmm, if you can make it so it takes less time, I think the best way to do it is for people to just play the game at their own pace and then talk about it at some point. Just like podcast style. That's probably the the most like production efficient way to do it. There we go. And that sort of thing. Yeah, maybe I could put something together about it. I don't know though. It's a bit tough. I like that their shields exploded and also they were they were killed. Complete complete devastation. But yeah, I've always liked doing game reviews. Uh I guess they're just I guess I always feel a compulsion to cover as much as I can. But that's the enemy of like turning them around quickly. <laughs> Tell if they're to the right of me. They are sort of. Oh! His head got shot partially off. That rules. My personal view on reviews is that I don't even really want someone to play a game in a forced March fashion. I'm only ever interested in what someone thinks of a game if they played it at their own pace and allowed themselves to enjoy it as such. Yeah, I think if you're not... It depends on a lot of factors, of course. Uh, reviewers are people just like everyone else. But yeah... I think that's probably the most, the thing that would closest resemble how a, a person would play it. 
which means that the uh, the impression theoretically would be closer. I don't know, I gotta be honest, it's just like... It's hard for me to, in this day and age, truly understand the function of, like, a game review. Aside from, like, opinion validation. Because people can decide if they want to buy a game or not, or whether or not they think it's good. With way less time and, and subjective subjectivity. Maybe in the process that it takes to, like, read written reviews and stuff. It's a bit weird. Reviews are kind of a, a strangely deprecated, depreciated, that's the word, part of the process. When people couldn't get pretty instantaneous and pretty, pretty clear view on the state of a game and how it plays, <laughs> then reviews made a lot of sense. You had to rely on the expertise of a, of a professional to give give out advice and qualifications. I was starting to wonder when you might notice us. Here we go. Now it's Who time. are you? Me llamo Ramon Salazar, the eighth castellan of this magnificent architecture. I have been honored with a prodigious power from the great Lord Sadler. I've been expecting you, my brethren. No thanks, bro. My mind, Zingdom. you've got a feisty one. Oh, 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 if you care for your own well-being, this kid has just claws. Just yourself and simply become No thanks, bro. Or Mr. Scott, you can give us the girl because you're not worth a penny, I'm afraid. You can die. I'm never turning into one of them. Never. Got that right. We'll find a cure. Bro. Oh yeah. Puzzles. <laughs> Man, that feels good. What gun do I want to rock with for now? I guess I, I still have a ton of 9mm. Ha! Oh man. It's coming all- it's all coming back. Rooms I haven't been in in like nine years. It's been a good while since I've thought of reviews to help me make purchasing decisions. Along those lines, the only things that will influence my purchasing of a game or not these days are basically the behind the scenes stuff, like the treatment of devs and ethical issues. Huh. Uh Kong Jin, yeah, this is with the This is with the HD project mod installed. Which has a couple of like tweaks and it's got a whole like tweak layer on top of it. Which is kinda cool. I haven't messed around with a lot of this stuff. I'm kind of just playing it as uh, as vanilla as as vanilla as possible. I want to remember, I want to remember classic Resident Evil Four before playing the remake. I have confirmation that Sarah has entered the castle. Why would he return during his escape, or why he would return during his escape leads me to question his motives. But we must seize this moment and capture him. We will get the other two Americans after we apprehend Sarah. It appears he took some vaccines when he stole our sample. The vaccines we can do without, but we must retrieve the sample. For it is our life blood. I feel there is somebody else or some other group involved with this whole affair. If the sample were to get into the hands of that other entity, <laughs> that man, the world which we seek to create will not come. We must apprehend Sarah as quickly as possible. You know, just normal things people say. That entity. 
just normal people talking. Ooh. Reviews are still helpful for new IPs. I got talked to out of for spoken from watching a couple. Okay. So Lamb of God. Uh in those okay. In those cases, I guess since you had no preconceptions, a review might actually be more efficient. But what made you decide to watch or what made you decide to watch reviews as opposed to watching streams of the game? And then deciding from there. chandelier, right? Maybe? Is it in here? Hmm. Yeah, Zack Attack, I did. I played this back in the day on GameCube. So awesome. I mean, GameCube was kind of starving for good stuff, so that was nice. But it was also just super rad in general. So send it already. Okay, Demi. You're telling me to sell the gem I just picked up? I was actually a bit confused by that, because I thought the thing that it went in only had... Four of the three of them? Maybe four. Age? Huh, okay. I can much more easily throw a YouTube video on when I'm sitting around versus timing a stream. I usually don't have a few hours. I only caught yours because I'm laying in bed sick. Okay, alright. Then yeah, I hear you. I guess if like, if you, yeah, if you already have an idea of what something's going to be like and you only have a few burning questions of like, is it this, is it a good version of this thing? What a sturdy door. Then like a stream might be easy because you're just like, okay, I know everything about this except this one thing that I'm curious about. Okay, now I see that it is that thing. Oh yeah, the bell. It took me an embarrassing amount of time to understand what they were going for with this with this enemy. Yeah, early COVID Twitch was pretty pretty exciting place. Jesus Christ! Holy shit, man. Oh yeah, you're not supposed to run. Most people that review games have zero media literacy. Yeah, I tend to agree. Well, that has been the case for a long time. Uh, I don't know. I'm hesitant to to talk negatively of folks that do that stuff because it's it's largely a passion thing. It's not like uh, it's not like you get a lot of prestige or uh, or love from an audience by reviewing games. But uh, yeah, in my experience, there's not a, like there. The audience doesn't hold game reviews to a high standard. And there's not a lot of money in it, either. And the combination of those two things means you're not likely to get the most top-tier writing talent for video game reviews. 
Uh, which is not to say that everyone who writes game reviews is terrible. There's just not a lot of incentive and certainly not a lot of... It's not a, it's not a friendly environment to be in. Ah, so, yeah. It's largely just like people who worked volunteer for a long time to get in or knew the right people, right place, right time kind of situation. Oh, the bell's broken. Any more Ding Dong Diddly streams? You mean like a like a movie? Actually, yes. Now that I finished the Sin expansion pack, it's time to watch Sin the movie, the animated film that is in full, available in full on YouTube. But yeah, I'm just gonna stream it one of these days. Publishers tend to use them as marketing. You mean reviews? Yeah, that's essentially what they are. It's like derivative media where every party theoretically benefits. The the journalistic outlet gets uh gets views and and like ironically they get attention they can further monetize through advertising with what is ostensibly an informative video about a product that not only conveys the objective aspects of it, but also the subjective artistic aspects. Matalo! I made it through! <laughs> Oh, I messed it up. No, they have How am I going to get this suplex, man? I used to enjoy watching reviews for games on consoles I didn't even own as a kid. I really enjoyed reading reviews for games that I didn't, I could not buy. Um, I remember when I first started reading PC Gamer, I was fascinated by the reviews because they were like, kind of like just fundamentally better written than a lot of the ones I would read before. But they also described games that had a feature scope that I just did not know about. Only playing on console. So it was like, it was amazing to hear about what the games were doing or trying to do. And then also hear an appraisal of, like, those were the first reviews that would, like, reference other games or, or trends that were current and identify them as trends. Uh, versus just like, this game's rad. It's got a backflipping dinosaur in it. So. Oh, jeez. Oh, this room's pretty rough.
Ashley. Blaming you for that one. That being real mean on console. Being able to nail the shots with a rifle, though, is everything. So we're still, still doing it, though. It's impressive music still. Ominous atmosphere. Yeah, that thong is really up in there. You, well, you don't want that flopping around in a tactical encounter. When you're, uh, when you're tactically Oscar miking around the battlefield, the last thing you want is your your thong to get out of place. So it's yeah, it's got to get really cinched up, secured. Leon is an elite soldier. He's had highly specialized tactical training. There's still just screeching going on. Is there a button to tell Ashley to stay? What do you think it could be? Leon is very special. Z. Wait. A for Ashley. 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 Follow me. Speaking up.
shit. Oh boy. TMP enough credit. I just used it because it's like, well, I have the ammo for it. They're dropping ammo for it. So I can either get get damage and kill dudes with that ammo. Or sell the ammo, I guess. And buy more ammo that I wanted, but I guess I just assumed the exchange rate would not be efficient. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Hey, my leaguer. Howdy, welcome. Why does he stick his ass out like that? Because he knows he's got an ass. Look, there's a crank over there. Thanks, Ashley. Look. There's a crank. <laughs> Watch out for me. Okay. So good. Okay. Hello, love black girls. Welcome. the amount of rifle ammo that I have stacked up right now. That feels good. It's like having a trust fund. You're just like... Mm. 
I'm covered. Catch her, she's shrieking. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I would absolutely not jump down on my own if I could potentially be caught by Leon S. Kennedy. Heart throb and hunk. <laughs> it does kind of sound like Sandy. Yeah. Yeah, the Brit. I was definitely planning on playing the remake on stream. It's probably upstairs, yeah. Oh. No, maybe it's just in the treasure chest that I can shatter. Maybe not. He's got to be up there. Or it's got to be up there. I was just thinking about Leon. Welcome. Where there'll be jiggle mods for Leon's buns and pecs. I hope so. What are you selling? I can't promise uh, promise that myself personally. I mean, I already sold the thing. Thank you. Is that all? Is that all? Thank you. What are you buying? Is that all, stranger? Thank you. Is that all? Is that all? Thank you. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Is that? <laughs> Thank you. Come back at eight. Yeah, it's mostly if everyone can behave. I don't know that I can just go out and trust everyone right away. Yeah, I love the. The repeated lines from the merchant are just bashed into my head, especially when I start flying through the menus a little faster like that. And you're cutting off every line. Wait, hold on. You've been using ChatGPT to cheat at your tests? I don't know, ChatGPT is gonna be available for whatever written assignments you have in the future. Whatever. Whatever. I feel like chat, chat GPT is just going to like make useless writing oh, as useful as it was before. But the world is still full, filled with useless writing. for you. Everything's just getting more dire. Castle full of doohickeys and thingamabobs. Yeah. I mean, I guess there was the, the mansion and then the police station. The transmission just got cut off. <laughs> haunted fun house locations. Salazar. How'd you... We've jacked the line. We didn't want you telling everyone any unnecessary information. Where's Ashley? Ah, oh, so she fell into one of our wonderful traps. We'll make sure we find her. Don't you worry about her. Oh yes, I let our miserable insects out for some exercise down in the sewer. Thanks. 
That should keep me company, cause boredom kills me. I look forward to our next encounter. In another life. Just a series of non-burns. Extremely not cool. Dunks. Ashes on the other side. The banter, yeah. Just the, it's like a verbal knife fight. Anyone could go down at any time. Yeah, very specific trap. They know what they're doing. In the basement. <sighs> Gotta take a bathroom break. I'll be right back. Oh, I need another beer too. Okay, folks, back at it. I actually realized I should just leave the queue on in the background, which is now over two hours long. But why not? Who knows? Might get a little more Diablo in tonight. Should have done that. Oh, yeah, the little dudes. Like stealthy dudes? Yeah. Yeah, Brandon. I got disconnected, and when you get disconnected, you have to wait in the queue again. So I figured that was it for the day, but I realized, you know, I should have just left it running in the background. It would have been, well, I would have had like another 30 minutes instead of the 120 minutes I have now. But whatever. It's all right. Just more Resident Evil 4, baby. Even when I lose, I win. Now I just gotta figure out what to do for dinner. I could cook. Like I've got some I got some stuff to make a pretty decent meal with. But that would involve stepping away from the stream for like an hour or more. The action might be too hot. You should call Blizzard and say, I'm the quintessential gamer. Why are you to make me how dare you make me wait? Yeah, that'll probably they'll probably log me in right away if I did that. Can you believe I've never once pulled a rank as the quintessential gamer? Never once. Just doesn't seem right, even though I could. And many say many say I should. Many say that. Oh yeah, why is my hair cube shaped? What is that? Yeah, there was like a weird fluff at the end here that was, was making it like N64 hair. There's like a wave to it. Yeah, Greylark. It is It is a HelloFresh thing, in fact. It's the last HelloFresh meal that I have from the sample pack they sent me. Which was delicious. Oh, God! Leon's so cool! Turning into a video game. Still suck, huh? That's interesting. I didn't know you could have multiple of a gem that sets into something else. Ah! Ah! 
kick prompt is right there. Oh, damn it! You guys are working me. Ah, Luis's memo. Why is this in the dankest prison? Luis, what have you been doing? There are some parasites that have the ability to control their hosts. It's basic knowledge among biologists, but not much is known as to how the parasites do it. Once you open the Jameson, you can call me a disappointment. It'll really bring back some memories. I'd be delighted to. Be your disapproving father. Studying these parasites specifically might reveal some clues as to how the powers of the Las Plagas work. And perhaps provide more insight on the victims of the Las Plagas, the Las Gonados. Here is a list of some parasites that have the ability to manipulate the behavioral patterns of their host. Ooh. Dichrocolium. Once the larvae of this parasite migrates to the ant's esophagus, it alters the behavior of the ant. When the temperature drops in the evening, the infected ant climbs to the top of a plant and clamps onto a leaf using its mandible. It stays there, immobile, until the next morning, placing the ant where it's, where it's most vulnerable to be eaten by a browsing herbivore, such as sheep. One could conclude that the parasite is manipulating the host's behavior to make its way into the body of its definitive host. Galact Galactosomum. Ooh. The larvae of this parasite makes its home inside the brain of a fish, such as the yellowtail and the parrot bass. Once infected, the fish make their way up to the water's surface where they'll swim until eaten by seabirds. Once again, this peculiar behavior can only be explained by the parasite's desire to get into the bodies of the seabirds. Leucochloridium. This parasite's... Sporocyte, sporocysts develop in the snail's tentacles. The sporocysts are vivid in color and pulsate continually somewhat like a worm. Ugh, I've seen video of that. It's, it's gnarly. Surprisingly, the infected snail makes its way to the top of a plant where it is more visible to the eyes of birds, therefore more likely to be eaten. Once eaten by a bird, the parasite will complete its metamorphosis into an adult. Creepy. Creepy, Lewis. You're a creepy guy. I think I, yeah, I used all my green. like the whale tail? Me too. I too am a fan. Isn't here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Butterfly land. Can you... Can you just put three... Three of any kind of gem in it? No, you gotta have a blue, right? Leon oh, should have a piercing on his belly button. Ah, oh, yeah, I agree. Believe me, I've had desires for Leon for a long time. There's already mods that uh, tart him up a little bit for the, the demo. Maybe a choker? Okay, some eyeshadow. Oh, 
Oh, there's only one guaranteed blue eye. Oh, can they? So they can be item drops as well. I guess I have a lot of red eyes. Yeah. Switch off the red knife. Just make him look like Chris Angel? Yeah, okay. We're we're finally getting to the core of it, aren't we? We're just talking about Chris Angel here. We're all dancing around it, but really we just want him to be Chris Angel. <laughs> Ada <laughs> tattoo, but misspelled it to Abba. Aba. <laughs> no A D A, you idiot. Spray. Now I know the game's taking pity on me. <laughs> More like Baba, am I right? You are right. I do love that this game essentially has a Carmen San Diego character. gone with a goo ada tat leon seemed pretty traumatized by goo ada i guess i can't really blame him pretty severe event but yeah he seemed to really not like seeing ada as goo uh, how's diablo looking oh 101. thought about how Ada's just Carmen San Diego. She is. Like the red dress with the like high thigh slit. I guess I guess it's like even Carmen San Diego is kind of after this femme fatale image. Which I guess goes back to noir detective tales and stuff, but but yeah. There needs to be a mod that gives Ada Wong the, the Carmen San Diego hat. Carmen San Diego even do? She steals landmarks. She's a she's a cat cat thief, cat burglar, right? Stealing jewels and and sphinxes. She's an international woman of intrigue. Yeah, I actually really liked the game show back in the day. Back when like some media had a soul. <laughs> Could you imagine? A show nowadays made by like a, a YouTuber group that's designed to educate kids. I guess maybe that does exist. I have no idea what the, the content creator world is like for kid entertainment. I assume it was mostly just exploitative bottom of the barrel shit. Just like lights and sounds. Get kids on how cool our merch is, yeah. How awesome it is to gamble on Counter Strike skins. And it's very awesome, by the way. It's just the coolest. Do I have a grenade? Heck yeah, I do. Cram this in your zombie pipe and smoke. Oh my god, he has black nails. Excellent. Smoke it. Yeah, that was like the perfect grenade throw. Oh! <laughs> Dude took off. Hold on. I gotta hear. I gotta. Uh. 
I want my baby doll. Where is it? There it is. Okay, I just had to remember where on the uh, on the playhead it was. Babadoo doll. What the? He didn't make it out. Babadoo doll. Watched a behind the scenes on the making of that song. What did you learn? Apologies <laughs> all. Did, did, did they at the time, before the, the song came out, did they know that barbecue sauce was gonna tie it all together? That was gonna be the... Man, it was weird. I was I was watching like a, a block of '90s commercials, and there were some some heaters in there, some of the like Volkswagen commercials that were really popular. And it's just weird going back and seeing those and being like, okay, this is like solid. It's got a good storytelling aspect to it. It kind of hit a certain energy. But it's weird that this is the thing. Like this was kind of famous, I guess. It was known, but it's just like a 30 second ad. It, it comes and goes so quickly. It's so like small, I guess. All things considered. Something like that would come and go and no one would think about it twice nowadays. Barbecue Zolls. I shouldn't have jumped down. Do I, does that mean I have to run all the way around again? Because I didn't get the treasure up there. Oh, old world memes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was kind of the world just waking up to memes, I guess. Oh wait, no, there's the... There's the ladder right there. Yeah, the Da 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 song from Biodome. That was the one. There was that one. There was also the... Uh... I'm trying to remember the name of the group. Days Go By was the name of the song. That was like in their early aughts. Dirty Vegas, yeah. Man, Dirty Vegas is really good. And that one song is not hugely uh, representative of the kind of music they make. What was that ad that Michael Bay directed? There was the Got Milk ad. He did a couple of other ones too. It's interesting going back and seeing those because they definitely stick out in terms of the bombast of their production. Like they, they have chaotic Michael Bay energy even now. You can kind of see it. Oh, look at it. It's all caged up. Can I open this from this side? No. divots. Wait a minute. I shouldn't have sold my other... Oh, it was the other ones. Oh, that's why they dropped another one. Okay. I mean, Ansem, I guess that was Family Matters, but no, this is a different different song. It's just the one of just like, I think it's just some trendy, then trendy 20-somethings driving around and like, it's just a vibe commercial, really. Lifestyle. Chat let you sell stuff incorrectly again? Sort of. I'm not I'm not gonna pin this one on chat, shockingly. They did let me do it, and it is their fault ultimately, but uh I'll I'll actually be noble and take take some of the ownership of that one. Some. Nope. Noble. Is the key word. What do we get? Uh, oh, yeah. Do 
That is a nice song. It's a rare condition. This day and age. To read any good news on a newspaper page. No, don't kill me. Okay. Fine. <laughs> Thank you, Jimmy, for the cheer. For some reason, Barney thinks this is this means I'm gonna kill him. He's a little high strung, that Barney. But you know, I do what I can. Just out here in the streets being humble. Gaming. Welcome. Got some rare things on sale, stranger. What are you selling? I am not scared. I'm not scared. Is that all? <laughs> I don't know Thank why you. people in chat old? are telling <laughs> are spreading Thank lies you. about me being scared because I'm not. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Ah. <laughs> Thank you. What are you buying? Oh, it meant Barney, what but your you response buying? is more telling. No, it's not. It's not telling of anything. Is that all? <laughs> is that? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Thank you. I don't even know what you're talking about. Is that all? It sounds Stranger? like you're making stuff up. <laughs> Thank you. Come I don't know why you're making stuff up like this. Oh, is it open now? Oh, because of the switch, right? I thought it was only the other side. <laughs> Come with you are. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited for the remake. It's been getting rave reviews. Raving. Oh yeah, this track. This is one of my favorite in this game. It's got the like ocha, ocha, ocha. It's got that uga chaka. This is one of the few songs. Oh, yeah, and that percussion in the background. I love. I love it when you dump a ton of reverb on percussion. It just sounds so moody. It's like somebody banging on drums in a big empty alleyway. This is the RE4 song. It's always what I associated with it. This is uh this is one of the few songs I would listen to outside of the game. It's like part of my workout playlist. For many years, the Salazar family has served as the Castellans of this castle. However, not everything is bright, for my ancestry has a dark past. Long ago, there was once a religious group that had deep roots in this region called the Los Illuminados. Unjustly, however, the first Castellan of this castle took away their rights and powers. As a follower of this religion, and as the Eighth Castellan, I felt that it was my duty, as well as my responsibility, to atone for that sin. I knew the best way to atone for the sin was to give give power back to those who we once took it away from, the Los Illuminados. I was expected it took a little time, but we were able to rejuvenate the once sealed Las Plagas. With this success, I was one step closer to the revival of the Los Illuminados. The reason why I released the Las Plagas from deep under this castle and gave them to Lord Sadler was not only to repay for the sins of my ancestors, but I felt certain that the Lord would make better use of this power to help save the world. Help save the world. All right. To save those that have sinned with the power of the Las Plagas and to cleanse their souls, creating a world without sinners. The way it was meant to be. Once cleansed, they would become one of the many Ganados, but they would find their reason to live. And after the Lord has succeeded in creating the world in which he has envisioned, then the sins of my Salazar family will be atoned for. That's a pretty noble motivation. He's just doing it for family. Man. Yeah, the frickin'. Crossbow dudes. Dead shot aim. Oh. Hey, Fair King. Good to see you. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I 
think this game has critical hits, you know? Or maybe just like a damage range on each bullet. Ooh. Metallica Gamer. Wow. Thank you very much for the sub. Just when I'd kind of forgotten about it. Right, who's so chatty up here? Jeez. Every pistol has a small chance for an instant head pop crit. That's such an awesome mechanic, man. And it keeps things so uh, unpredictable, too. I'm a big fan of that sort of thing. Sort of. It's used to great cinematic effect. Oh, that's... Oh, yeah, he, you have to chase his ass. Or just snipe him, which is a thing to do. That's a mechanic from RE1. Yeah, I kind of remember that from RE1. Like, occasionally you just get a free zombie kill, and it felt great. It kept things, like, spontaneous and weird. Like, the game wasn't always just trying to fuck you. Sometimes it would just just give you a pass. Which was also kind of nice. Where'd you go? at me for making fun of him. You didn't even stop to ask if I was okay, you jerk. Pretty sure you can just snipe his ass. in pieces. Can't find one of my St. Paddy's Day staples. Six liquor stores and no dice. What are you trying to find? Yeah, yeah I ordered Guinness yesterday. It was already gone from the, from some of the spots around me. I walked around a little bit and couldn't find it.
put green food coloring in your vodka. Yeah, I guess that's one way to get green vodka. You guys trying to think of like green cocktails? It's hard to go wrong with Midori. It's pretty sweet though, but if you dilute it with something, then it kind of works out. Yeah, pickle vodka. Mm -mm. Mm. I mean, cucumber vodka is pretty good. puzzles the sacrifice of six lives oh okay Just because Leon has cake doesn't mean he's not a smart guy. Don't be jealous. Just because he's the complete package. What a pleasant surprise. But I'm afraid it's Ashley we need. Not you, Mr. Kennedy. If you don't need me, then get off my back, old man. Mm. <gasps> Did you say old man, Mr. Kennedy? It might come as a surprise, but I'm only 20 years old. So you're just like all the others? A puppet of the parasites? Surely you don't think I'm the same as those diminutive ganados. The parasites, las plagas, are slaves to my will. I have absolute control. Well, I really don't give a damn. Rain or shine, you're going down. Just so cool. Oh, Jesus. Oh, they look scared. I did not think that was going to blow me up. I think they kill themselves when they do that? What? Oh, they would throw it? Oh. 
know. There's one more. Oh, maybe not. <sighs> Busy day. systems active huh how am I supposed to not hit that giant succulent button ah that's what I was waiting for scratcher of a puzzle on our hands. Real noggin melter. Oh yeah, it's just the stairs. Whoop. There we go. Who's drinking tonight? Well, veiny penis. I'm a couple of beers in at this point. Working on my third. Ah! Hmm. Wait, no, jump over. Jump over, you weirdo. Maybe I have to go hit that button. About to do your sixth shot. Oh, goodness. You're about to cross over into, uh... Thinking you can DJ and making some bad life decisions. Yeah. You know what? Veiny penis. Cheers. Cheers to veiny penis. Probably a little dramatic, but still. I think it sent the right message. Huh. Play through Gears of War. I always really like the Gears of War. Is that just the most modern version of it? Ultimate Edition? Yeah, Gears 1 is a fan, a phenomenal game. I remember really, really liking it. It's weird because it looked like a beefcake shooter, and in some respects it was a beefcake shooter, but Gears 1 was, was weirdly, like, sentimental and solemn. Understated and subtle. Like, it had chainsaw guns, sure, and the the beefiest, squattest boys. Very dude-heavy cast. But still, there's still just a tranquility to it. Just the, I guess, the Unreal Hallways where you get to really, like, the they really highlight the environmental art. 
the the sort of like ruined paradise. I guess that also makes it feel a little gear or a little like warhammery. They're wearing these like paneled these like squat dudes are wearing these paneled armor suits and stomping around. Then you're running around these like kind of like ancient Grecian cities that have all been overrun and decayed. Yeah, host, I remember there was like a chapter five in the uh, in the PC version. I remember buying Gears of War PC at an at a LAN party. There was some some like game retailer that had a booth set up and they were just selling PC games. And I was like, yeah, I'll take Gears of War. I got to install it. The internet worked. So Games for Windows Live worked. So I was playing Gears of War on my PC getting achievements at a LAN party. That's the best, really. That's that's one thing I always loved. I love going to LAN parties, one, to play like massive or like big multiplayer games. But also just kind of like playing games in a communal setting was really fun. Even if I was just playing a single player game. I guess that's what I like so much about Twitch. It's kind of that, kind of like arcade culture. Hang out spaces that are centered around video games. Hedge maze. Weirdly, when I played through this game on the Wii, this is the room I remember. And I don't know why. I don't know why this one specifically, but I do remember running around with a little pointer controls. There's like treasure in here too. Yeah, I remember having to backtrack through the entire maze to get the treasure that I missed the first time, so. Mr. Kennedy. Still alive, I Mr. see. So, do you like my garden? I see you've managed to work in a little of your twisted taste here, too. <laughs> <laughs> Sagacious as I am, even I get lost here so How droll, Mr. Kennedy. It takes your whole indeed, life, indeed. You'll never get out. Do you know that no one dies without a cause? You will satisfy the stomachs of my cute pets. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to tie up a few loose ends, like chasing down a couple of rats. Hi, indeed. Two rats? If one's Lewis, who's the other? Huh. They're an intruder besides me? A couple of bothersome flies. Oh, yeah. This is the dogs, I think. I heard a woofer. This dog so mad. Who did this? Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm so angry. Oh. It's not that bad in here. Sorry about the dog, the dog hurting. I don't want to do it. Inside me on there are 
two dogs. One is gay, the other is gay. Leon, you are a gay dog. Okay. Building up another, another mask here to sell off for massive profits. If only I could reach in and grab that thing. Oh, I thought, I thought it wouldn't let because of the water. What is that? This round thing? Yeah. I think. Wait. I still haven't gone over there. PS health bar. Yeah, Josh Grave. Uh, Josh Graves. Technically, I am performing a noble service by releasing these poor, poor ailing pups from a life of being a creepy test subject. I am a hero, really, in this situation. As I tend to be in most situations. Coincidence? Oh, you forgot R2 was a thing and that Vin Diesel is in it? Well, I'm glad you remembered. Because it is important to remember that. I forget occasionally. I think it's important to remind people. Now, I know that that's probably shocking, a shocking thing for me to admit. That I occasionally might forget that Vin Diesel is the lead in Arc 2. That's just me being vulnerable, you know? Not a lot of influencers are brave enough to do that. Are there any Jackie Chan movies you'd recommend? Of course. Uh, it really depends which ones you've seen. If, uh... Ah! The ones that will always, like, go down smooth are Rumble in the Bronx and Legend of Drunken Master. In my opinion, Legend of Drunken Master is probably his best. Police Story's really good. Meals on Wheels is, like, half a good movie. I don't know, some of the some of the earlier Hong Kong stuff can get a little weird. There's just like humor in it that is either fully fully sexist, like playfully sexist in that magic 80s way, or just like leans into slapstick in a way that doesn't quite read. Armor of God is pretty interesting. Thunderbolt, my favorite Jackie Chan movie. Oh man, I haven't seen that in a long time. I don't think I really even remember it. I remember that when I first discovered Jackie Chan and I watched like a ton of movies. But Thunderbolt kind of blends in. Who Am I is pretty good. Who Am I has got some wild stunts. I think Brad Allen shows up in Who Am I first. Well, shoot, I gotta watch Thunderbolt again. If I. Here's the great thing about. Oh! Kill you, gooder. Thanks for. Or, thanks for having a sub gifted to you. <laughs> Koji Min, thanks for doing the gifting. I was looking at the alert. Ooh, I'm getting whopped. I'm getting whipped up. That really hurt. Wow. Hurt a lot. Ah, uh, yeah. Rest in peace, Lance Reddick. 
We lost a real one today. Can Leon have cat ears? That is a great question. Oh yeah, Drunken Master 2, aka Legend of Drunken Master. Yeah, that's the finale in that movie is it's really really incredible. Put your hands where I can see them. Sorry, but following a lady's lead just isn't my style. Put them up now. Huh. Yeah, he's gonna mansplain knives to Ada. Bit of advice, try using knives next time. Works better for close encounters. Leon. <laughs> Long time no see. Oh my god, it's Ada. <laughs> oh my god. Ada. So it is true. True? About what? You, working with Wesker. I see you've been yeah, doing Leon's your gonna homework. try to like turn his bicep so Why, that she can Ada? read the Ava tattoo. What's it to you? Why are you here? Oh yeah, she has the Mission Why Impossible 2 glasses. <laughs> See you around. Ada! Hell yeah. The game keeps getting better. The more it goes. It's kind of interesting too because the all the Resident Evil camp is there in force, but you kind of have to get to the castle before it starts becoming classic Resident Evil goofy campy shit. They don't they don't even let you see Salazar until that. So it's I remember this game like people liked it because it was like gritty and and more horror, and certainly the intro is. But man. It's always been Resident Evil. It's always been this campy, goofy, overproduced, ridiculous thing. I just think Resident Evil 6, hopefully in our time, will be appreciated. Resident Evil 6 is the Jupiter Ascending of games. Overproduced, overstuffed, and like ends up being a mixture of, of kind of commentary on itself while also being awesome in its own right because it's trying so hard. <laughs> Oh, hey. Hey there, pal. Female intruder. They already got photos of her? <laughs> there seems to be a female intruder among us. We believe she's connected with Sarah. We also believe that she was the one who removed the egg injected into Sarah before it hatched. She may have had him retrieve the sample, b sample before the American agent's arrival. It's obvious that her objective is the sample. We must get to her before she's able to reestablish contact with Sarah. There's also a reason to believe that she's working for somebody. We need her alive for interrogation. The female should be able to answer all our questions. After we have captured her, Sarah will no longer be of any concern. As long as we retrieve the sample, you may dispose of him as you see fit. Fantastic. How's that, how's that cue going? What? <gasps> Uh-oh. That seemed faster. Okay, hold on. Let me save. Can I save? I can save. Did I just save? There it is. Thunderbolt is free on YouTube. Wait, y'all, we're talking about Ark the Dinosaur video game. Yes, we were. Yes, Ark 2 featuring Vin Diesel. 